Welcome back to the CryptoCoin channel. My name is Tim, and we are actually going to do the next part of setting up this Panther X2 miner that I got. If you looked at my earlier video, I unboxed it. Now we're able to, or ready to just do the setup of it. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Before we do, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and please click on the bell notification so you get notices when I'm doing when I do another video. Okay, so here we go with the instructions. A little different than the rack miners, but uh, uh, I've already got my app up and running, so we're good there. I've got all the parts out. I've got the Panther X2 miner. Um, I've got the pairing tool that they use. Um, I recommend that you use a smart plug with every one of your installs, especially if they're remote. Uh, the reason being is it allows you to remotely power cycle, and as you know, recently there have been quite a few outages or, or uh, times where it goes down, uh, the miners go down or they seem to go down and a power cycle really helps. Um, I've, already re I've already set one up and I've got the miner plugged in so I've got the power cord here. I've got an ethernet cable that I'm going to actually use with this uh, installation here. Uh, this is going to be a second miner at my house and it'll probably get relocated or I'll actually put this one in place and then move my rack miner that I have here. Um, that way I can kind of compare what the results are. But I'm also interested to find out what happens when you assert two miners in the same location. Um, like I've said in the previous video, I have 10 miners currently uh, deployed. Uh, the results are great. We're doing well with those. So, uh, and then as you can see here, I've got a choice of antennas. I've got a little 3 dbi antenna um, on all of these i'll make sure that i put the link in the description below uh, this is off of amazon it is a i don't know how you pronounce that but whatever you can see it this is a rack 5.8 dbi antenna definitely the uh, antenna i would recommend that you use um, this is a amazon 5.8 dbi antenna you can see that there's a significant difference between the two of them and um, I got a significant difference when I switched from the Amazon antenna to the rack. And then this is another super high quality uh, 8 dBi antenna that I have deployed elsewhere. So I'm actually going to be using a mini router connected to a uh, existing router. The reason that I'm using this is because it will prevent me from having to relay or have the relay issue that you have when you're port forwarding this i've already got the ports open so it will bypass the home uh, wireless router completely and uh, i'll be good to go so that i can actually position two miners in the same location uh, but not have the relaying issue so beyond that i think i'm ready to go um, let's get started here so the first step they say is to um, get the uh, application installed, which I already have installed. I'm gonna come over here and get plugged into it. Come on, baby, come on. Okay, little delay there. So then it says that you want to go ahead and add a miner. I'm not gonna show you this because you'll show up in my wallet. I'm gonna scroll through the list here and I'm going to look for the Panther X2. And then I'm going to say skip for now. It gives the diagnostics. It's step three in here. You say I understand. It says go ahead and power up. So I'm going to plug this bad boy in. And for now, I'm going to use this 3 dBi antenna that I have not utilized before. Let's see how that works. Okay, so step four is powered up. Uh, next thing is to actually, let's make sure that we're powered up and on. Again, this is the first time. That's interesting. Oh, okay, so we have a power light. We have a blinking globe and we are good to go. So step five in the instructions tells you power it up, connect the antenna. We're all connected now says like a standard helium miner, take and press the Bluetooth for five seconds, three, four, five. 
you'll get a Bluetooth indicator light right here that'll show that it's in pairing mode. Come over to the app. I'm going to say that I'm ready to go. I'm going to scan. As long as Murphy is not in the house, we won't have an issue. But there you go. So we have Panther X. Says it's connecting. So step number seven on this is you're going to actually connect this via the wireless, or in my case, because I have an ethernet cable set up for this one, I'm gonna plug it in. We'll get this all cleaned up a little later. And we're gonna tell it, use ethernet. It's asking to assert the location. So we're gonna ask, So we are actually going to set the, set the location and it is saying it's a 3 dBi antenna. It is not an X2. It is a... Okay, so I'm now looking for the antenna that it says. So I'm going to go back up here to custom antenna and it is a 3 dBi antenna. That is one meter, and we're done, and next, and we're gonna register this puppy. And we're gonna get a name, and we got an error. But here's the interesting thing. If you've done a few of these, you'll know that that error message does not necessarily mean that it is not asserting the location. Um, so for now, we'll see what we get. Okay, so here we are. I am trying attempt number two at connecting it. I'm going to give it a location. And set the location. Interestingly enough, it only has the Panther X for antennas, the Panther 1X 3DBI. So I'm going to do uh, try again the custom and done and next and I'm going to register the hotspot so there we go it's registering hotspot miner is waiting to start please try again in a few minutes so we're going to try it this will be our third time connecting uh, I'm going to go to the app scroll down find the panther x2 and I'm gonna hit the skip for now. I understand the diagnostics, I'm powered up. I'm gonna take the little tool, push it in. And it says it's in pairing mode, so I'm gonna scan for it. So previous times, let's see if it does the same thing. Oh, it says no hotspot found. That's better than what I got last time. Let's try it again. That's one, two, three, four, five. Let's scan again. Okay, there we go. It finds it. And it's going to keep on. There we go. Once the. So we're going to choose that internet. It's going to ask for permissions for the location. And we're going to set the location. And we're going to use the default antenna and we're going to register the hotspot. And that's the message that it gets. Hotspot is waiting to start. Please try in a few minutes. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually wait a lot longer. But for now, I'll go ahead and post this video. And uh, again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell notification. So when I put out more videos, which I will, I've got a lot of information, including results on uh, antennas, uh, different cables that I've used, different locations, a whole assortment of things to get 10 miners producing on average two HNT a week. So uh, thanks again. Really appreciate your participation in my crypto coin channel. Okay, so welcome back. Uh, ran into a little difficulty, as you can tell from the previous segment in the video. 
Uh, this unit has actually kind of a cool feature that the rack wireless units don't have, which it actually tells you when it is connected to the internet um, and some other options. Uh, even it has a Bluetooth light that shows, which the rack units don't do. So the important thing that I found in this setup was um, these two lights right here need to actually go solid. So as you are going through the process in the instructions here and you get down to where it's wanting to connect to the Bluetooth, you may want to wait about 15 to 30 minutes uh, until you see these lights solid. If for some reason, um, if for some reason you don't see them go solid, go ahead and try the Bluetooth pairing, go through all the steps, You'll, you may get a message that says that the miner is trying to restart. Um, just at that point, say okay, and walk away, come back 10, 15, 30 minutes later, mine connected and paired up, and it's working great, it's in the syncing process. Again, thank you for coming to CryptoCoin, and uh, we, look to see, we look forward to seeing you back uh, as we show you some results in the coming days.